everybody, my name is April and this is Thrifty Nerdy Mom. If you are new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So glad to have everyone. Today is Tuesday, so it is Dollar Tree Tuesday. And before we get into this haul, please like and subscribe. Join our family. We would love to have you. If you love Dollar Tree content, I post every Tuesday, so you should definitely subscribe. So, back to the haul. It, today's haul is just a mini spring haul. I only have two bags and a bucket. And so, yeah. Small, but sweet, but definitely something I wanted to share. So... First, we'll go ahead and start with the bucket since I showed you. And it is just this really cute unicorn bucket. It's a um, unicorn face with closed eyes. And it's just like a pink bucket inside. And honestly, it is adorable. And it was a dauber and could be used for so much. I bought this actually around Valentine's Day and kind of forgot about it. And then found it again and... I honestly could have used it for Valentine's Day. I can use it for Easter. I can use it for a, um, like a birthday bucket. Like put some like cute little toys in there and stuff like that. It can be used for all year long. So if you see it, you know a unicorn lover, pick it up. It would be, definitely be cool to like put back for different holidays. Speaking of things that I found that I'm not going to be really using for... The upcoming Easter holiday or spring holiday, but they're so cool. You definitely need to pick them up. And it's these Easter eggs, and you get five to a pack, and they're the seashells. They're adorable. <laughs> they're really, really adorable. And if you're new here, I'm a huge Disney lover, so when I saw these, my immediate thought was Ariel, Little Mermaid, even really new on like um, Moana but these would be great for like decorations or used for birthday parties it can be used for magic mails pin trading if you're really into pin trading you could totally put the pin in there it's just it's a cute little thing I bought four of them and like I said I'm not planning on using these for Easter I plan on using them for other things um, back to the decorations. You can hang these on a string and have them hanging from the ceiling. It's just, there's so many good uses for these, and I kind of wish I would have bought more, but I really only bought four. I was trying not to clear the shelf. Some other type of Easter eggs I picked up that I'll actually probably use as Easter eggs are these, like, little dessert-themed Easter eggs. Sorry about the crinkliness of it, but it's like little faux chocolates and then little ice cream <laughs> cones and they're just they're really adorable and I've never seen them put anything out like this and I will probably use these for their like intended use as easter eggs but I just thought they were really really cute and just picked up one bag I'm sure I'll find some other like cool easter eggs that I'll pick up for them I picked up a couple of these garlands, one for my house and one for work. Oh no, something I hauled busted in there. We'll pick that up in a minute. <laughs> um, but it's these really cute bunny garland, and it's just a bunny silhouette with a, like a little cotton tail. I'm not sure how many bunnies are in there. It looks like eight, which would make like a fairly long garland. Does it say how long the garland is? No. But really cute garland. You could double it up and make it longer. Like I said, I'll probably take one to work and I'll probably leave one at home. Now to the busted item, and I'm really sad about it. I picked up this bottle of, oh it didn't bust, it just twisted. Um, I picked up uh, this like cute little chick bottle of soap like you can see on my hand and um it's adorable and 
I've been loving how Dollar Tree is bringing out like little cute character soaps because you always need soap and character soaps are cute too. You could totally save these for next year and just refill them or they can be a one-time use. Like I said, I thought this cracked but it didn't just kind of like twist it open so be careful when you pick it up. But yeah, I just thought they were really adorable and I'm gonna have to wash my hands. So I'm back without the sh like soap on my hand but you know it's no big deal because at least it's soap and not anything else. So the next item I picked up for Easter and I thought was really cute is this rainbow striped bunny ears. Um, we're a big fan of like mouse ears and stuff like that. We love wearing them on videos. So I thought like during like spring these would be a really cute little addition to our ears. So I just picked up one. I should have maybe picked up two. That way we would have matching pairs. I don't know why I just picked up one. But if I find it again, I'm totally going to pick up two. And yeah, they're really cute. Like I said, they are rainbow striped. They are fluffy on the back. And then they have that holographic pink on the front. And they're just really, really cute. They would be like totally three, five dollars at Target or something like that. And so, always pick up, like, bunny ears from there. I picked up two of these next items because they are just so cute. <laughs> and it's these little bunny sacks. And they are, like, they like, are drawstring. And you close the little treats inside. And they have this, like, gingham plaid, like, spring colors going on the ears and they are just adorable they come two in a pack and they are just really really cute I'm not sure if I will like fill them and use them as like little decor or if I will use them as treats or even save them for next year just because I'm not sure what to do with them but I saw these I had to pick them up they are definitely worth a dollar and on the same token, these are really, really cute too. And they are little burlap sacks. And they come four to a pack. And these I might fill up and put on my stairs, like down my porch. And on the tie, it makes them look like little ears, which make this bag so much cuter. Honestly, Dollar Tree, props to you. I've um, bought like pumpkin ones and they have like other great like shapes and character type things for different seasons. Or at least they have before and they're coming out again and I'm so happy. Definitely, definitely pumped about that one. Once again, I kind of wish I would have bought more than one, but I only bought one. And this next item is covered in soap too, <laughs> but I'll go ahead and show it to you. And I wish Emma wouldn't have seen it when she was with me because I would have loved to put this in her bucket, but um, she saw it and wanted it but it's this bunny gumball machine and it is so cute i'm gonna have to wash it off because like i said it um it works like you twist it and it like goes down the thing and um like i said i'm gonna have to wash it off but emma got a gumball machine from santa this like last past christmas and she really loves like gumball machines and stuff like this so when she saw this I kind of saw it and was going to like sneak it, but she saw it and was like, hey mom, look at this. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> but um, I know she likes it, so. So this last bag of items isn't necessarily spring, but these would be great um, basket fillers. And they're all pretty much, to, I believe they're all Disney themed. <laughs> but um like I said, if you haven't been here before, we love Disney, so I pick up a lot of Disney Dollar Tree items, and let's jump into what I did pick up. So, they had these around Christmas time, and they had them back again, and I'm just going to save these for, like, Magic Mills and stuff like that, and swaps, but they were just too great to, like, pass up again. And the first one I picked up was Bo Peep, and it comes with, like, two colors and her mold. I picked up Elsa. I picked up Minnie. I picked up Woody. And I picked up Anna. So for $5, you have five different characters and a fun little Play Doh activity to do. And like I said, I love these for Magic Mail and swaps and stuff like that. And they're just great little fillers for Easter baskets or gifts or anything like that. 
Um, next, I picked up this uh, Marvel Superhero. It's four paint sheets and four color sheets, and it comes with markers. And then I'll show you on the back. It comes with um, a little paint. You just need water or in the Q-tip and kind of like dab it around. I've picked like a whole pack before um, that just had the paint from Dollar Tree and Emma really likes them but once again I'm going to kind of throw these back into like a randomly someone likes Marvel type thing. These would also kind of be cool for Disney. I don't know. I might pack them in our Disney bag. Emma can color them or she can just use like a good have water and paint them as we're waiting them on and stuff like that. I picked up quite a few like Toy Story things now looking at it. And this next one is also something that would be cool waiting in line at Disney. Not what I picked it up for, but it is like this pom pom little craft set. Pretty much, if you have the picture and you're supposed to put the pom poms all over the colors, my ring light's washing it out. There you go. But um, you don't need glue, the pom poms are sticky, and you just remove the paper and you stick them all to Bo Peep and it's good like just busy kind of activity. Sticking with Toy Story because like I said I hauled quite a few Toy Story things. I picked up little Jessie. You can't really see her because she's turned around but there she is. She has her hat and I picked up a bullseye. I've picked up several of the um, blind bags the Toy Story blind bags and you don't like I've been kind of looking for Jesse and Bullseye because I want to do some um, ornaments for Christmas. I kind of want to do a Disney tree and make ornaments and stuff. So I've been looking for Jesse and Bullseye in the blind packs. Oh, they're even like little Easter eggs. I just now realized that. I guess they're marketing that for Easter. Okay. <laughs> So these would be great to put in an Easter basket, but like I said, I picked these up to make ornaments out of. But in the same token, I picked up little Jack Jack um, for an ornament. I have not seen Jack Jack like this before. I've seen like Mrs. Incredible and Mr. Incredible and stuff like that. Um, we opened a couple blind boxes, and I believe we got Mr. Incredible like twice. So we have a Mr. Incredible and. Um, I just love Jack Jack, so I'm going to make him into an ornament. So, the next two things are frozen items. And I know I picked up some lip gloss to go along with this, but it's somewhere around here if Emma did not run off with it. Um, and I just picked up this white little set of fingernail polish. And it is the Smuckers brand, and it's just the Elsa white fingernail polish. Picked it up before for Emma. I am going to throw this in my little bucket of things again. But these would also be like really, really so cute if you put them in one of those little bunny bags with some lip gloss and like maybe some fake nails and like You could totally rock that out. And it's a cheap little gift to give to someone for Easter. And Frozen, I picked these up for Emma or myself. I'm not sure. They're really, really cool. And they are glitter gel pens. I loved glitter gel pens back in the day. And Emma, I'm trying to get her more into writing and stuff like that. She's getting better and she loves like making cards for everyone. But I thought these were really cool. Maybe she'd be really like excited about the glitter in the gel and stuff like that. So I picked those up for her, but once again, that would be really cool to throw in a little basket or one of those little bags and create a little Easter gift. So that is it for today. Thank you so for much. Thank you so much for watching. It was really only two bags, but picked up some great things. And um, comment down below and let me know what you're doing for Easter. But that's it for now. We'll see you again really soon.